Hey there, friends. Hey, it's Do with Do Dots and Designs. If you're just catching me for the first time, I am the owner of Do Dots and Designs. I'm a decorative furniture artist, an online business coach, and an encourager of women. I thought today I would come on and kind of share a little bit about my business with you and about the Creative Makers Tribe. Okay. Well, let's talk about seven years ago, because I know I have a lot of ladies that follow me that are decorative furniture painters as well, and they're selling their furniture online or they're selling it to the local community. They're selling it wherever they can. And I hear this complaint so many times that, that I'm having trouble selling my furniture. I'm having trouble getting the eyeballs. I'm having trouble trying to figure out how to make money with my furniture. I spend all day painting and making this stuff pretty, and then at the end of the day, I can't sell it and I'm stuck with it and I've invested all the money and the time in my furniture. I so understand that. I so get that. That was me seven years ago. Seven years ago, uh, I've painted furniture all my life and just kind of played around and I've always been creative. But seven years ago, I started taking it serious and I started painting furniture from my garage and uh, quickly figured out, you know, there's some money to be made in furniture painting. A lot of people can sell their old pieces, you know, very inexpensively. You can put a little paint on it, make it pretty again and sell it. That was great. It rocked on for a couple of years and I was had a full-time position at that point excuse me, um, I was a nurse for 33 years and I did this as a part-time business as like a de-stressing type job to make a little hustle money on the side. And it kind of got busier and busier and I loved it more and more. And before long, I was going to work. I'd walk in my day job, which was a nurse. I'd walk in and I would be showing my other nurse buddies pictures of my photo of, of my furniture that I've been painting. And then I talked about how I sold it. And they were astonished out of how much money I was actually making. And I kept telling them, one day, this will be my business. I'm going to retire from nursing and this is going to be my business. Well, that happened almost two years ago in November of this year in 2018. It will be two years that I walked away from my full career of nursing for 33 years to pursue my passion as a decorative furniture painter. And it's very strange. I get a lot of resistance. I, I got a lot of resistance from my family and maybe you can understand this as tell because you're getting this too. They, go, they were like, how in the world can you give up a full-time job at nursing to paint furniture? You're giving up your insurance, you're giving up your 401k, you're giving up all of that stuff so that you can paint furniture? How's that gonna work? Hide and watch, hide and watch. I was determined at that point this was going to work and I had been growing my social media for several years before I decided and I paid off all my bills. I was smart. I planned it. I was smart. I did the work. I, I did the research. I knew how much money I had to make to make my business work and I knew that I could do it for the first year. So for the first year, it was really, really hard. I really worked diligently working with all my social medias, putting them all together, getting my eyeballs out there, developing a website, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Yes, there is a Google Plus. There is another social media that you didn't know about. There's a lot out there and it all plays an integral part in growing your business online. So with that, I started creating video tutorials for the public and I would sell them my painting techniques. You know, I, I think I'm a pretty good painter. I thought, well, I'm going to try this. Other people were doing it. They're making money. So I'm going to do it too. And I did just that. I created a library of different finishes and I sold those for a year or so. And then I got to thinking, you know, there's a bigger picture here. You know, I started blogging and then I started, you know, uh, I, I did a subscription group for furniture painters. I started in February. And in February, it was just for furniture painters to come in, you know, and, and come together and learn different finishes and that kind of thing. Well, quickly it grew to something else. The ladies in the group didn't wanna just paint furniture. They started asking me, do, how did you take your business from painting furniture in the garage to online? Because I no longer paint for the public. I paint for blog posts, I paint, for content to feed my social media. I paint for a blog. I paint for a company that I work for. I also am an affiliate and a brand ambassador for, an, for a paint company. There are ways to make money with your furniture. I know you're frustrated. I hear it and I feel it and I've been there. Painting 20 pieces of furniture a month is no way to make business. And as we get older, and I know a lot of you ladies in the 50 plus club can understand this, 
We can't pick up and haul that furniture around anymore. It's too hard. So if you are looking for a way to up your, your furniture painting game, make more money and work less and make more money or work smarter and not harder, that's what I like to say, work smarter and not harder, come join us in the Creative Makers Tribe. The tribe that I started back in February that was for furniture painters has evolved into a business group now and that's because the ladies in there wanted more. They told me they wanted more and I gave them more. So now we have a successful online private subscription group called the Creative Makers Tribe where ladies come together and I teach in the group. We do different things. We go over social medias. We talk about you know the success plan. We're talking about all the dots that you have in your business and we're talking about connecting the dots. There are some things missing, and listen, ladies, when I tell you this, be careful with some of the groups that you get in because some of it is just telling you what to do, but are they helping you connect the dots? Are they holding your hand? I will hold your hand, and I will get you through to what you need to do. You do the work, and it will happen. It will happen. There's no reason it won't happen. The only reason that it won't work is if you give up. If you have a determination, if you have the tenacity to say, I'm gonna do this no matter what, we can get you there. We can increase your financial stability, which will change your life, will change your family's life, and you'll still have money coming in. And I teach multiple revenue streams. Money coming in, not just from one source, not just painting furniture anymore. We're gonna be painting furniture, but we're gonna be, uh, we'll have a website and we'll have a blog and we'll have affiliate links and we have money coming in. There's many, many ways to actually make money with your business painting furniture. And let me help you. I wanna help you so much. Come and join the Creative Makers Tribe. Right now, I, it is seven, uh, $27 a month. The price is gonna be going up in the morning. Today is October the 1st, so as of October the 2nd, it's going up. So if you want to know more about this, I will drop a link in here and shoot you over to the Creative Makers Tribe and you can read about it and decide if we're a, a fit for you. I would love for you to come in and join the group, the ladies that I have in here. And we're close, we're close. I'll just say that, we're close. We're a small group, we're not huge. We've got about 50 members, a little up, 52, 53 members, I believe last I counted. But we're close and we help each other and we encourage each other every day and we're growing our business and we have some huge successes and some huge wins since the creation of the Creative Makers Tribe. So just wanted to hop on here and give you a shout out. If it's something that you'd like to chit chat with me about, drop a comment and message me, reach out to me. I would love to chat with you. Thanks so much for joining and I hope to see you in the tribe. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the little bell down there that will notify you anytime that a new video is released. I do a lot of furniture painting and I share a lot of my techniques as well as business with you. Thanks for joining me today.